think it's more of a um, just a more general term that we use. I mean, the Mac is you know it's up and coming, and people notice it. It's starting to uh, get a lot more press and a lot more um, a lot more noticed. But uh, I mean, you you look at our offense, and it's just the explosiveness of it and uh, the success we had last year, and um, you know Mac beating Big Ten teams and really just being on the radar. Uh, Defensive line is so important to the to the defense. You know, if you're getting pushed back, they're getting pushed back into us, which means we're getting pushed back into the safeties on runs, and um, it's just a, such a key part. And people think it's just standing up, pushing guys around, but those guys are always doing stunts, always twisting. Um, so it's a lot more than you think it is. And those are some those are some strong guys back there. And um, for instance, if I got a defensive end that's getting shoved into my face all the time, and I can't see which gap I got to fill and where I got to read the flow to. I mean, that makes my job a lot harder. Um, so defensive line is really key and uh, just really got to get in the offensive line's face every play. Yeah, I think it's a, uh, I think people are kind of expecting that with Keith being gone, Willie, you know, they're key parts of our offense, but it's also college football. And with college football, you're going to graduate guys and our culture preaches the next guy and whether it's injury, graduation, or just the starter not playing his best ball, the best guy's going to play, it's the next guy in. And um, it's really just a, a, a whole unit kind of thing to where I don't want to say the defense is going to be um, what holds us together this year. It has to be the defense clicking, it has to be all cylinders, defense, offense, special teams. Um, and that's what we've really been working to is just, you know, sometimes you got offense playing good, but defense kind of slacking. Defense playing good, offense kind of slacking. You have to cl be clicking on all three cylinders, and that's what the best teams do. That's what championships teams do. Um, just really all getting together and making a team effort. I really don't. I mean, um, a lot of guys have a meal that they eat and you know, the songs that they listen to. I'm just sitting in my locker and, and talk to guys like I'm just going out to practice. You know, game day is the easy part. The the work the work week during practice. That's when you got to learn everything and. Um, we practice like we play in the games, and that's what we go out and do every single day. There's no, there's no off days. There's no days where we have an easy practice. Um, we prepare for the games on Tuesday. We win games on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and uh, we win games with the scout team guys. And that's really what makes our team so special. Is everyone has a job. Everyone is important, and those scout team guys are just as important as starting quarterback or starting safety or whoever. The administration's great with that. The coaches are great with it. Um, school comes first. You gotta get your school work done. If you don't, you ain't gonna be able to play. Um, so what it comes down to is, you know, discipline. And it's actually easier during the schedule to, to stay on top of your school because with the schedule that you got, you're in a time routine. You're, you know, scheduling and uh, you're disciplined. When I get a little free time, I want to sit around and watch some more TV and just be lazy. And I don't have that option when I'm you know, going and going and going. So um, it's a little bit of a hassle. It, it takes some getting used to, you know, freshmen find it harder than seniors and juniors, but you get the hang of it and you start to figure out what works for you and what kind of schedule you like. With football. Yeah, we got some great people in the community. Uh, Lahoti Meats, they cooked us a giant Thanksgiving meal. The whole team was in this room, just turkey legs and it was a ton of food. and. They really went all out for us, and it's kind of special, you know. At one, uh, on one side of things, it kind of stinks being away from your family on Thanksgiving, you know, sharing that with your family. But you, you also got a second family up at school. It's kind of special to share that with all the guys on the team and all be together in one room on Thanksgiving, sharing a, me a meal. These coaches are awesome. They're the coach, best coaches I've ever been around. Um, you know, coaches come and go and that's just college football. Luckily, we've had Coach Lembo for, since I, I was recruited by the old coaching staff, came in, and um, I've, he's been there ever since. And you learn his culture, you learn the coaching staff's culture. And um, we, Coach Bateman, went to, who was my linebacker coach when I got here, he went to Army, um, and Coach Kelly came in, and I don't think we got a better fit than Coach Kelly. Um, all the guys, we don't have enough good things to say about him, and he really understands where we come from as players, and he come in with no ego at all, which makes it kind of fun to work with because he wants to adjust to what we've learned and keeping the same um, keeping the same language we say in the in the meeting rooms. You know how if every coach has its own different um, verbiage and words that they use, but 
he kind of he kind of adjusts to us and makes it easy for us, which is which is pretty cool. Um, favorite away game. I'll tell you what, the Clemson atmosphere was really cool. That was kind of that was a really cool scene. Eighty-five thousand people screaming. You can't even hear someone talking right in front of you. So that was a pretty cool. That was a pretty cool uh, game. Iowa's going to be be a good game. That's going to be a lot of fun, and and it's it's fun living in those, playing in those uh, them big arenas and big stages. Because after a while, you know, you walk in, you're kind of shocked at how many people there is, but you get used to it, and you don't even notice it during the game. Um, but there's nothing better than playing at home in front of our our own fans. Well, luckily, I, I got two more seasons left. Um, so when that when that year comes around, uh, I don't know. It's going to be rough because I made a, uh, some of the best friends I ever made in my life up here, and you know, great people, and people I've worked with in the community, and jobs that I've had up here. And you really get to know people around here, and makes it more feel like home. Um, and I love Ball State. You know, all the people in it are great. It's a great, it's a great campus to be around, and uh, it's going to be tough. But you always got to move on to the next stage in your life. Yeah, bowl game is really uh, significant and special for a program. Um, not only for just the, the fun that's involved, but the competition and the extra time that you get to practice for them games. That's what separates the good from the best um, programs. Because if you think about it, you get a whole nother spring segment. However many practices we get for bowl games, we get that much more practice in than other teams that are staying at home on Christmas. And, we don't want to, you know, we get lucky. We, these past two years we've been home for Christmas, but we don't want to be sitting at home watching all these teams playing bowl games. And um, bowl games are just, they're so much fun, hanging out with all your friends and seeing other parts of the country. And uh, it's a pretty cool experience.